Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today I want to talk to you about tape. But not just any old roll of tape. Acid-free bookbinders tape. This is one of the, the perks I didn't even know I had growing up in a household with a librarian. My mum, for, for a fair few years, worked in Thrill Library and also in Prestatin High School Library, the high school that me and my brother went to. And if you'd asked me at the time, I would have said, yeah, I suppose it's okay, you know, I have a mum who's in the library and I get to take a couple of extra books home. <sighs> um, but actually, this was the real deal. This was the actual benefit of having a mum in the library because this tape is fantastic. It's, it's designed to fix books, and therefore, obviously, the high school library was crammed full of it, the back office had loads, but we had this floating around at home, and I just couldn't live without it. It's, it's acid-free, so it, it's, it's another word for that is archival. It's really good at keeping things stable. Uh, sellotape, for example, is quite acidic, hence acid-free tape. It will eat into whatever you, you tape together. It yellows over age. I'm sure we've all seen the, you know, old yellow tape when you're trying to peel it off something. It's, it's all sort of brittle and it's ruined the thing that, that it, it was taping. This won't do that. I'm fairly sure it's also UV stable, so it won't go yellow over time. Uh, and so, for example, it's really good for binding the spines of books. Uh, this is Batman, A Death in the Family, all four collector's item issues in one volume. So it's a, it's a trade um, paperback collection, only £2.50 when it was published. <sighs> wow, that was that must have been ages ago. Let me just, let me just double check when that was. Uh, yeah, 1989. Yeah, first edition. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, when I got hold of this, the top of the spine was peeling away from the book. But acid-free bookbinder tape is fantastic. For, for bringing the book back together, for, for, for securing and, and reinforcing the spine. But also, it actually sits quite matte as well, unlike sellotape, it's not shiny. So it, it, it's visible, it's a little bit sort of dull where the color, you know, the black, for example, is slightly grayed by the tape, but it's not super visible. Uh, and therefore, it's the perfect tape to, to rescue this book from the brink. I also used some on the inside as well, just there on the spine, you can see. Uh, just a touch. Um, I love it. It's fantastic. Not only is it great for fixing books, it's also great, for example, recently uh, for my birthday and an early birthday present because she couldn't hold on to it. <laughs> she was too excited about it. Um, our friend Ruth, my friend Ruth, got me uh, this uh, atmosphere board game. This is just the lid I've got here. Uh, for a steal online. I think she said it was like a, a fiver on uh, Facebook Marketplace or something. And it had everything, the VHS tape, all the pieces, nothing had been written on in biro, but the box was in poor condition. Uh, but, as you can see, I've done quite a good job fixing this lid. Uh, and the, 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 the broken section was actually this corner here. It was all falling apart. There was actually a split up the side there as well. I think it's a little bit down there. But the bookbinders tape, I think, did a great job of bringing it back together. It's it's not perfect. It's it's visible. But then again, I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm not trying to 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 to, um, to pass this off as pristine. I see there's a little bit of repair there as well that I did. Uh, but it does a good job of bringing this stuff back together, being stable and uh, reliable. I'm not, not having that sort of, again, that shiny sellotape kind of look to it. Uh, and crucially, we got to play Atmosphere. <laughs> Although we, didn't, we don't have a VHS player anymore, so, uh, so we, we watch the, uh, the YouTube um, upload of the VHS tape. You maggot! Answer me, you maggot! One final thing that I love about Bookbinders tape is that it can be used as a fairly reliable small-scale lamination technique. 
Uh, and this actually I often use in conjunction with my other favorite tape, and that is double-sided tape. Now this is double-sided tape that I think is acid stable, acid free. Um, I'll, I'll link to, to where I got both of these from uh, below. I think they're both off Amazon. Um, but double-sided tape, nice strong double-sided tape. I even use this uh, uh, to, to, to stick a load of foam tiles. Uh, you know, the echo dispersing, sound dampening type tiles to the office ceiling here using this tape. And, and they're very light tiles, but the tape holds them up even on a lumpy bumpy Artex type ceiling. Uh, but this tape, as great as it is, combined with the acid-free book binders tape, for me is a fantastic combination for creating sort of little laminated prompts and notation uh, all, over, all over the place. So for example, um, <laughs> Uh, this until this morning was uh, a laptop that I used to run the Elgato capture card when streaming uh, console games on Twitch. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch, by the way. Uh, it's a long story, but 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 the, the machine is no longer in one piece as of this morning. But anyway, on the machine, I had these sort of prompts, these little shortcut prompts for you know, different scenes in El Elgato. Uh, the USBs were, were labeled, so that's the webcam. Uh, we have audio and the Elgato itself labeled. And it's just printer paper with uh, double-sided tape on the back, carefully cut out, and then it's uh, fronted with the acid-free bookbinders tape. So you end up with this sort of almost laminated matte finish that's, that's quite durable. Uh, and nice and neat and tidy. Also nice and clean as well, actually. The edges of the paper don't get sort of mussed up and, and grubby. Um, I've done the same on my uh, my office PC there uh, for, for streaming prompts and also editing prompts as well. Um, it's, it's fantastic. And it's just two pieces of tape and standard printer paper. Um, I've also done the same, actually, on my calendar. A recent addition I've made to the sort of homemade fridge magnets for example there's one there that, that I use to uh, remind me to make videos for this YouTube channel uh, with the, the video title below uh, is actually one that reminds me to upload short videos to TikTok for, for my Archeosoup archaeology stuff and that's just uh, a piece of square card with uh, a, a, an image printed off and, and double-sided taped to it uh, backed with a magnet a little dab of super glue and then uh, all covered with um, bookbinders tape, the acid-free uh, matte bookbinders tape. And it all adds up to something that's more than the sum of its parts. Again, it looks like, like a, a fairly neat little thing. It's relatively durable. It doesn't get grubby. And uh, I, I just like it. And, it. and it all comes from having two types of tape. Well, at least two types of tape in your life. And uh, I figured I'd recommend it to you today. Um, <laughs> hopefully this has been interesting. At the very least, I'm sure you're intrigued about, about what happened to this laptop. Um, nonetheless, uh, thank you for watching. Do consider getting this tape and then add it, adding it to your repertoire for daily use. Um, and uh, until next time, do take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>